Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome to another episode of Liquor with Lenore. I'm George Lenore, visual artist in Atlanta, Georgia. Now on LenoreDesigns.com and with Paint ATL. All right, today we are back. Um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and all that stuff to stay abreast of what we do. If you're interested in liquor reviews. All right, so today we are talking about vodka. Um, this particular vodka is called Reka Vodka. It is from Iceland. It's an 80 proof vodka. Um, their distillation process is, is pretty interesting. Um, it actually comes from wheat and grain, and they are a green company with a green process through their distillation. They actually use geothermal energy, which is underground volcanoes in that particular area. All right, so once again, we are gonna be talking about Reka. The bottle is pretty cool here. If you, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has like Iceland on the top. It's awesome. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to see how good Iceland produces vodka. Stay tuned. All right, peeps. All right, you know what we do? We put everything through a three round taste test. We do a shot, we put it on the rocks, and then we do a mixed drink. So we're about to get right into this. If I can get this thing open here. Throw that over there. And these are produced in small batches. Smells good. All right, cheers. Or oh, as they say in Iceland, hopefully I can get this right. Skull. Mm, interesting. Um, since it's a 80 proof, there's no burn. It's pretty light. Um, texture is like water. I think I'm getting I think I am tasting a little deep, maybe. Mm. Not really in the heat. It's not too bad. Interesting flavor. Yeah, I guess that would probably be the wheat um, that I'm getting. I'm not really tasting anything else. Pretty clean, pretty crisp. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the rocks next. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. We had that first shot. The first shot was pretty pretty smooth, pretty smooth. We got a little taste of um, the grain, grain profile in there. Um, everything else, just got some alcohol, that's about it. Uh, but overall, this is pretty smooth. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the rocks and see what we get. thing uh, that they did mention on their site was the master distiller is a local guy from Iceland right and he, he's actually the fireman he's a fireman and a policeman which is real cool now his name is you know it's Iceland Icelandic so I ain't even gonna try to pronounce it I'm sure I put you but that was a real interesting fact so oh, it should be chill now. Let's see what we get. Oh man, tastes like water. Yeah, the texture is real nice, real creamy, real smooth. Uh, no heat. I'm getting more of that that grain flavor, the grain profile. Oh. 
Yeah, but overall, pretty good, pretty good. Can't complain about that. All right, guys, so we're about to go to the third round next. So stay tuned, let me see what I can come up with. All right, guys, so we're on to the third round. We've had a shot, we put it on the rocks. Um, the shot, let's go back, and the shot was smooth, real, real smooth. Um, you are getting that grain flavor. Um, I believe it's more so wheat that I'm tasting. Um, on the rocks, um, it's still very, very smooth, very, very, very crisp, um, and you're still getting, getting I say probably more of that grain flavor on the rocks. Uh, now what I have here, if you see, I have a, a weird colored ice cube here. That's actually lime juice, frozen lime juice. Um, so what we're gonna do is, just gonna take some grapefruit juice, lemonade, and vodka. All right, so as you notice, that's equal parts, one, one, one. Stir it up. And we're gonna see what we get. And of course, as that ice cube melts, we're gonna start getting more of that line. Oh man, that's bad. Um, yeah, that's a real tropical drink. Real good for the summertime. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's a lot of flavors in here. Um, that lime is coming through already. Getting that grapefruit juice. Getting a little bit of that lemonade. The lemonade is kind of, I say, kind of like mellowing everything out. And on the back end, you're getting the alcohol. Of course, you lose that um, that grain flavor with this particular mixture. Hmm. Yeah. So overall, um, it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's pretty clean, clean vodka here. Um, very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. Um, the finish is okay. Um, once again, you are getting that wheat, so or grain flavor. If you not interested if you don't like that grain flavor then that may be a problem for you but overall as far as the vodka i have no problem with it um it's pretty good it'll be real good as far as a mixed drink keeping it around for a mixed drink um, i want to say the price point is pretty good for this particular bottle i believe it was around 19 or 20 dollars all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up this has been another episode of liquor with Laura. see you next time